god, oh my god, oh my god. This huge spider in my bathroom. Oh no, don't come near me, no. <laughs> Go away. Don't come near me, no, 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 don't come near me. G'day guys. Welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I'm doing a little experiment. You know how I like experiments. Now I'm going to put two styles together. I'm going to put the 3D flower together with a petri dish pour and see what happens. So let's get to it. My resin today is the Platinum Super Clear. It's not quite as clear as the Ultra Clear. It's a little bit thicker but it's got a slightly higher temperature or heat resistance. Not that it matters for this, but it goes to 90 degrees, whereas the ultra clear only goes to 67. So I thought I'd try it, but I don't know that I really like it as much, but we'll see what happens. But, you know, being that little bit thicker, um, it sort of hangs on to the bubbles a little bit more. Now, I'm going to put 15 grams of clear resin in here. I made up 85 grams of A and 40 grams of B. And because I only need a little bit of white, I'm only doing a half batch, like 15 grams, that's half an ounce. So I'll put that there. That's going to be my white. Now, I think I'll do a little bit of silver glitter. Um, yeah, why not? Well, I can put a bit in there, and if I decide not to use it, I won't use it. But we'll put a little bit in there. That's for the that's for the glitter. And then for the rest, my mold is starting to warp. It's doing this. <laughs> oh, I have to kind of stick it down. Hopefully, it, hopefully it'll be all right. Okay, so the rest of the resin just in here. Hopefully, the weight of the resin will kind of push it down. So 13 centimeter coaster, not sure what that is in inches. Divide 13 by 2.5 if you need to know. And that will tell you. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of waiting now, I'm going to drop my ink in. Well, actually, it's not really ink, it's a tint. I think they're from Lorez. I'm not sure where that one's from. Maybe Lorez. It's got the same dot. So from Lorez, I think so. A blue and a green. Um, and I'm going to drop the ink in now, or the tint. I will try it with alcohol ink as well at some stage, but I just wanted to try the tint. I'm not quite sure what the difference between a tint and an alcohol ink is. Is it just because maybe this one doesn't have alcohol in it, or maybe it does, but it's called a tint? I, I don't know. I really don't know. So anyway, let's um, put the tints in. I'm just going to kind of drop them in. I have like blue on one side and green on the other. Okay. Are you going to do anything? Are you? You're just going to sit there. I thought it would like spread out like an ink. See, that's what I want it to do. I want it to spread out. So maybe oh, it's leaking. Well, not leaking. It's just making a mess. I thought it would um, I thought it would spread out more. Oh, look at that! I can get it out again. All right. I, I thought it, I thought I'd try the tint, but it's obviously not working in the same way that an ink uh, alcohol ink is. Um, hang on, I've got to go and get some alcohol inks now. So I thought that would work, but it just kind of sat there, didn't it? All right, back in a sec. Right, I've got some sapphire. I think it's called sapphire blue, teal, and then I might put a few drops of lime in. I think these are very similar, these two. It's the darkest blue that I've got. Let's see what the ink does. The 
alcohol ink. Yeah, look at that. It's so much different. It's, it's really spreading. That's what I wanted it to do. So, um, so blue can be on that side. What's this one? Teal can be on this side. Which I might, I don't know if I'll use that. Although the teal's looking very much the same now, isn't it? All right. Um, maybe we'll go with the... Oh, it's so hard, you know. You look, you look at something and it goes, yeah, it's, it looks different. But then when you actually drop it in, it's... Look at that. There's not much difference there, is there? Not at all. All right, let's do that. I can mix the two together, probably. Let's do that. Let's mix the green and the teal together. That's the blue. That's at that end. So I put my timer on. Um, I want to wait 45 minutes before I drop my white in on top. And I'm going to make the white... Um, the same as I do for my 3D blooms. All right, that's enough of the lime. Is that the lime lid? That's enough of the lime. Let's do another few teals. Um, I'm not going to get my other blue actually, just because I've got a different colour on that side. I've also got a Baja blue. Is it Baja or Baja? I don't know, Baha, I think it's Baha. Baha. Let's drop. Uh, sometimes they're clogged. Um, I need a needle or something. Mm. I'll try it out over here. Yeah, sometimes they can get clogged. And then you squeeze really hard and you get like 20 drops out. No, nothing's coming out. I'm going to have to go and find a pin. My gosh, this video is going to take forever. Let me go and find a pin so I can stick a pin down it. Hang on one sec. It's got a pin. Um, let's see if it'll work, actually. It might not even work. There's some kind of resistance there. Push it in. Again, I don't know that that's very much different in colour, but we shall see. So that's the blue up that side. Look at these two making funny little patterns together. It's where it's touching the side. Should put a little bit of teal just on its own through there. That way we've got green and teal there, teal in the middle, and then blue. And let's go with some more sapphire. Not quite sure how much to put in. <laughs> I don't know. Um Okay, I think, I think that's enough. That even might be too much. Now, which lid goes where? That one goes there. I think you're that one. Have a look inside to see what colour it is. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I may have even put too much colour in. I, I don't know. Actually, I better keep my pin somewhere safe and need it again one day. Okay, so now, um, well... I've got some time to spare, I've got some time to wait, so I might as well do the next step, which is, um, I, don't, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll bother with the, the silver centre, because you're not going to see it anyway, you know, because it's just going to be all mixed up. So, we've got 15 grams or 2 ounces of resin in there, 
So with the cast and craft white, I'm going to do two drops. One, two. And then the white alcohol ink. The Blanco Blanco. And we'll do one, two. Um, I think that'll be alright because the colour's already got ink in, uh, alcohol in it, hasn't it? So I was going to add more, but I think that'll be fine because those colours have got alcohol in them. So what I want to do now is, now that everything's ready, I've got um, what, half an hour to kill. 20 past 6 in the evening. I'll go and feed the dogs. And um, I'm going to come back and what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do, I don't even know if I need to put any more colour in there. Hmm. Maybe I need a bit more colour. Because what about the edges? Because I don't want to drop the white in and then I want to swirl it and then heat it a bit and just see what happens. So I think I maybe I've got a lot of blue at this end, so let's put a little bit more green across here. That's the lime. And the teal, filling in these little gaps down here. I just feel as if we need to fill in the gaps, that's all. Put a little bit of teal on top of the lime. I think that should give us a nice colour. And then a bit more sapphire just to fill in the gaps. Like so. Okay. That'll do. Happy with that. Now, um, now I've just got to wait. So I'm going to go and feed the doggies. I'll come back. I should give this a bit of a Torch. Oh, you've got to be careful when you're torching alcohol inks because, you know, alcohol is flammable. So be careful. Just a quick little run over. You don't want to set it up in flames and have a bit of a bomb Alaska thing happening with all the flames coming off the top. It's a call when they do that and they pour the alcohol over it and then they light it. Don't know. All right, I'll see you in half an hour. Look how much that has spread. It's all kind of run into the middle. It's much darker in the centre there. So what I'm going to do, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. I'm just experimenting. Um, I think we'll get a little, little tiny teaspoon. So it's starting to warm up. I can feel underneath that it's warming up and it's getting thicker. It's leaving a mound on a mound. I'd be happy to do an acrylic pour with that one. With the mound on the mound as it is just cleaning my stick save my sticks where i can okay so now what i want to do is basically just want to drop some white in if it'll drop sinking down should have used a piece of paper towel not my glove <laughs> so because the resins thickened for the last 45 minutes Hopefully it won't all just sort of drop to the bottom. Hopefully it'll sort of stay <clears throat> a little bit suspended so that when I swirl, it'll 
catch that white mid flight so to speak and uh, give it a, a swirly effect that's what I'm hoping anyway I don't know because at this stage I would normally pipe petals <laughs> wouldn't I and I am going to I'm going to do um, petals on an alcohol ink like this but I won't put so much alcohol ink in because um, you know you have to turn it upside down and I, I don't think you'd really see the white with all that ink I'd do a very very light coating of ink I'm just going to use all this up I think see what it does you can see it's getting thicker it's just sort of dropping in slowly it's not running off like an alcohol ink would just running it's much slower to run I don't want to do too big of blobs I don't want it to be too heavy and like you know sink too too far down this might not work at all I could just be wasting my time here wasting an hour of my time and my resin I can see some of them have sunk already I guess that's because I'm doing blobs rather than just uh, you know delicate piping on top because if I was doing a 3d flower I just do a, a small little amount wouldn't I with my little piping bag it certainly wouldn't be a big heavy blob like this nearly finished it might as well use it all up and again because I'm experimenting I sort of will need to work out if now's the right time to do this at the 45 minute mark or is it better to do it a little bit earlier but I honestly think if I do it any earlier um, the white's just going to drop straight through because I mean it's dropping now and that's been sitting so Let's leave it like that. It's starting to get a bit sticky. It's 52 minutes now. Look at the mess I've made. Maybe I needed to start a little bit earlier. I don't know. All right, now I'm going to swirl. Um, and I think I'll just use this stick that I've just been using. So here we go. Let's do a bit of a... Oh, look, it's getting thick on top. Oh, but that's the alcohol that's doing that. It's the alcohol ink that's doing that. I don't think it's anything to do with the actual resin. Okay, that was weird. It's got like this weird skin thing on top. Look at that. But it's the it's the ink I think it's the ink I think it's probably the ink's got like a hard skin being sitting there on top I don't think it's going to matter though because this is going to be the bottom but look I'm just going to take it off because it's just freaking me out how it's all weird sticky okay so there we go I don't know what it's going to look like on the other side Hope it's not going to be too blobby. My white's my white has sunk. I mean, it's it's down there. So let's hope it's not going to look too bad. Now torch again because when we've pulled the stick through, it's made a lot of bubbles. It's just weird that ink sitting on top that's giving a skin. Wish I could see under there what the white's doing. <clears throat> I'm going to heat it with my little heat gun. I don't know that it's going to make any difference actually because my white's down the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Normally I'd heat this and activate the white, but the white's sunk to the bottom, so probably not going to work. 
Oh, I wish I could see what's going on under there. I'm just going to have to wait. Be patient, aren't I? Another big blob of ink residue. All right, so we'll just see what happens. Is there any more? Oh, there's lots of it. But it's on, it's on top. When we flip it over, I think it's going to be the other side that's going to be attractive. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait for morning now and see what happens, see if it's worked. If it hasn't worked, do you want me to put the video up anyway? <laughs> oh, you'll never know if I don't put the video up. Um, I'm just going to clean off my little spoon so I can use it again. Um, what was I going to say? Hmm, if it doesn't work... Maybe I can, oh look, I don't know, Pour, pipe it, pipe little dots rather than drop the white in because it was quite heavy and it sunk. Maybe I can get my piping bag and just put little dots on and then swirl it. See if that works. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll see what's, what's happened, see if it's worked or not. Because you can't tell at the moment. I might have done it all wrong. I might have had to wait for the resin to be a bit more soft. Thin. Anyway, we'll find out tomorrow. Wish me luck. See you then. It's the next day and it is unmolding time. So there we go. That's what it looks like on the top. I don't think it's really changed from when I left you. So let's get this out. I don't really know what to expect because, as, as I said, I've never done this before. So, I don't know, but hopefully it's pretty. Pop. <laughs> hopefully it's pretty. Um, let's have a look at the sides first. Mm, a bit hard to, to tell. Oh, look, there's something that's kind of looks cloudy in there. Lots of little bits that I'd have to sand because I didn't fill that mould up all the way. Oh, now it's got a dent on the bottom. I can feel it. Look at my mould. <laughs> it's, not, um, it's not flat anymore. Look. They're very thin and they don't last all that long, so it's kind of, <laughs> it's warped. So I was pouring it like that, so it's got a dome, which means it's got a, a dip in the middle. I'm going to have to buy some more. Any kind of people out there want to send me a set of these? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'll buy them. All right, here we go. Just excuse the dip. I'll have to throw that out. One, two... Three. Oh, look, it's all wavy and seagrass like. Wow, that's kind of exactly what I was expecting it to look like. It's got the three dimensional look to it. it seems to have a lot more green in comparison to the blue. I guess that's because I used the lime green and the teal. Now the bits of yellow that you're seeing through here, it's the, the yellow here. I'll put it on something so you can see it. Just put it on a piece of paper towel there so you can see it's not too distracting with the, the yellow behind it. But look at that! Wow! Definitely going to revisit this. That's really pretty. So this obviously isn't a flower. It doesn't need a little centre in the middle. It's just... It's just a pretty port with lots of movement in it. I really like it. I didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, I like it. I'll set it up outside anyway so you can have a little look. So there we go. Seagrass, hey? Seaweed. 
churning around in the the ocean <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that that was pretty easy actually it wasn't a difficult technique to do so maybe have a go at it all right i'll see you for the next video bye for now